Route 66 is a highway that runs through the minds of dreamers across the country. 1932 is kind of the golden year for hot rods. John Hargrove is one of those dreamers. When I bought this, I got it for $100 and it's tore all the pieces. But instead of having his head in the clouds, he's busy building his dreams. Ready? Okay. Sometimes I'll go a month or two without driving it. And some, sometimes I'll drive it virtually every day. He started as a boy, building his bike out of spare parts alongside America's Main Street. Yeah, I grew up on uh, Northwest 23rd Street. I threw papers up and down 23rd Street, and that's Route 66. I remember back uh, 12, 13 years old, I, that's the road that goes to California. <laughs> that's, that's all I knew much about it. I didn't realize it, it was called Route 66. It was the road to California. John spent his life fixing things. As a mechanic, there isn't much he hasn't worked on. Cars, airplanes, and motorcycles. When he retired, he decided to build the ultimate workshop, and he picked a piece of land along Route 66 in Arcadia. I bought this land. There wasn't anything here except trees and dirt in, in August of 1998. Despite his love of the mother road, he doesn't care much for traveling. So, John decided to bring the sights of Route 66 to his roadside museum, like the Jackrabbit Trading Post, the Wigwam Motel, and he even has an old filling station. And I've done icons of Route 66. Anything that used to be on Route 66 or still is that I can figure out how to make a miniature of to scale. Uh, I do, I've got the uh, blue whale from Catoosa, I've got the twin arrows from uh, Arizona, uh, the Kachina dolls from the Route 66 uh, Museum in Elk City. I don't have a Cadillac stuck in my ground, but I've got a Volkswagen stuck in the ground, same depth and the same angle as the Cadillac Ranch. I didn't want a Cadillac, I'm not a Cadillac guy. While visitors enjoy the back half of the bug, the real attention getter is up on the second floor. It serves as a window to the museum and is painted like Herbie the Love Bug. And I didn't have it out there a day. And these people from Germany were touring Route 66 and they pulled in and they could barely speak English. But they said, Volkswagen, Germany, Germany, Volkswagen. <laughs> I thought, wow. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's been going like that ever since. That's 2004 when I put that out. Uh, I, bought a, I bought a gas pump, and I thought, well, how do I want to display this? And I thought, well, I'll just been build a tin man standing there pumping gas. And after I got the tin man, I thought, he needs a dog. So I, I made the little metal dog and a uh, little tin dog. Everybody calls it Toto. Uh, a guy from Switzerland. Uh, I said, hey, I'll take your picture. Where at? And he says, uh, at the Petro Man. And I said, you just named him. So I put Petro Man on the Tin Man. How you guys doing today? Every day, curious travelers turn up the gravel drive to see the sights that John created. I just been living Route 66. Uh, kind of didn't really know where I was going to go and didn't know I, I didn't realize people come from other countries just to drive Route 66. And I did a few things that I just wanted to look at and it started drawing people in and, and I started realizing, hey, uh, uh, this, this is a lot of fun meeting people from Germany and England, and, uh, Australia, Spain. Uh, I've had as many as 75 or 100 people here. Uh, there, there's groups that cruise. 66. If you can make somebody happier in life, you know, that, that's a boost. What makes John happy is getting his hands into the grease and bringing broken motors back to life. His love is building hot rods and customs, 
like when he turned a Chevy Malibu into a three-wheeled auto cycle. This is my passion, what you're looking here. This is my passion. If I don't have this, I'm miserable. I've never watched a football, baseball, or basketball game. I have no interest in it. Uh, mechanical stuff, uh, uh, my first wife uh, left me because I stayed in the garage too much. And really, she did the right thing because I'm a lot worse now. This is a uh, 1914 model Ford. It's a very original. It's had uh, different engines put in it over the years. It's got, now has electric starters. When this car was brand new, there was no paved roads. John spent many late nights painting and putting together attractions, like the Kipps Big Boy and the motorcycle from Easy Rider, just to bring someone a smile. I like people. Uh, I'm probably real hard to be around all the time, but I enjoy meeting people. You know, that's what makes America so great, is, is we're all different kinds of people. If you're ever out driving this stretch of Route 66, stop in. Everyone's welcome. Basically, if the gate's open, I'm open. Uh, if the gate's shut, I want privacy, or, or need privacy, let's put it that way. 